Hello, welcome back to my studio. In this quick painting tips video, I'm going to talk a little bit about getting clean color notes in your paintings. Now what exactly am I talking about when I talk about color notes? And I liken it to music. Every tune or song or composition of music consists of many notes of music, all arranged in a certain way that makes it pleasing to the ear. The composer has specifically put a certain note next to another note so that it works as a composition. Exactly the same thought process must go into putting your notes of color on your painting. So if you think about each mark you make with the brush as you put that bit of paint down. Think of each mark as a note of color. Kind of like you would put a note of music on a music sheet. And you know that if you're just putting notes of color down randomly, the likelihood of a pleasing painting or arrangement of colors is going to be very small. So one of the things that I always ask artists to think about where each brush stroke is being placed and to look at the color that is going down. So if you consciously putting down color notes, the likelihood of getting a better painting, it automatically just increases. And when you start the painting, the palette is all nice and clean and tidy, hopefully, and you've put all the paints out on your palette. As you're working, things get more messy and chaotic. Every professional artist cleans off their palette on a regular basis, maybe several times during one session of painting. But certainly during the day, there'll be a few times where that palette is scraped clean and they carry on mixing. You cannot indefinitely drag paints over your palette and expect the colors to remain clean. So step one, think of your color notes as individual notes that must be put down for a purpose. Step two, keep your palette clean. Step three is a little more vague. When you're mixing colors for those sort of aerial perspective colors, the colors in the distance, very often artists, especially beginners, are confused by those aerial perspective colors. And they know they have got to soften the color or, or uh, decrease the intensity of the color. And sometimes it's just mixed with a sort of, I hope this is going to be okay. Once again, I want you to think about those colors as specific colors that you want to actually mix. Visualize that color. Have a look at your subject or your reference photo. See that color in the distance as a cool light pink, perhaps, or a greenish yellow ochre um, that has been lightened up with some white paint and cooled down with a bit of uh, maybe cerulean blue. So that's the thought process. Make each of those color notes clean and intentional, even if it is a very vague and hazy background color. You'll always spot the mud on your canvas and it, will, it won't have the life, it won't have a spark, it won't be in harmony with the other color notes. Think about those colors that you're mixing so that your entire painting is made up of deliberate color notes. And you will notice a major improvement in the brilliance and vibrance of your paintings. Okay, I hope this has got you thinking about your color mixing and maybe just improving the vibrance and color in your next painting. Try it out. Let me know in the comments how it works out. And uh, remember to subscribe to this channel and uh, give this video a like if you found it useful. I'd really appreciate that as well. Every like does help. So until next time, cheers for now.